A man from Minsk, Belarus, has a question. I've been to Ukraine so many times, and Belarus is just north of Ukraine. And I've been all the way to the border of Belarus, but not had the privilege yet of being there, but hope to be there soon. Here's his question. If a woman did not keep her virginity, how can she be set free from demons she got through sexual relationships? And how can she protect her future husband from getting the demons through their sexual relationship in marriage? Well, you're referring to something that I've coined a phrase for. We talk about sexually transmitted diseases as an STD. I refer to what you're talking about as an STD, a spiritually transmitted disease. The Bible points out, that all sex is one flesh of the individuals involved. In 1 Corinthians 6.15, the Apostle Paul points out that even if you have sex with a prostitute, we're not talking about marriage, we're just talking about casual sex. You become one with that person. You form, as we talk about in our Advanced Academy of Deliverance, a very powerful soul bond. And through that soul bond, demons can pass from one to another. I've seen so many hundreds, if not thousands, of cases of this through the years. For example, a man had demons that manifested, very different from anything he'd ever been involved in, in terms of black magic and witchcraft. But many years ago, unwisely, he had a sexual relationship with a woman who was a witch into black magic, and he got her demons. I remember dealing with a married man who cheated on his wife. He got voodoo demons because the woman that he had the relationship with was practicing voodoo. I remember one particular man who had traveled in international business and he had a number of demons because as he traveled he visited prostitutes in these countries and he picked up the demons from the ethnocentric, geographical bloodlines of the history of the genealogy of all of those women. So you see, the Bible knows what it's talking about when it refers to flee fornication and says that we must maintain sexual purity. What about the issue of her getting married and passing the demon on to her husband? Well, if she's delivered before she gets married, then the demon's gone. She's not going to pass it on. If she doesn't know about deliverance and unwittingly she passes on that demon, then both her and her husband are going to need to go through deliverance. But she need not fear if she's gotten deliverance, received an exorcism, and got rid of the demon before she got into the marital relationship. In that particular case, there's not going to be any problem. But if a husband or a wife has demons from a previous sexual relationship, before they continue in the marriage any further, both of them need to get deliverance. The International School of Exorcism, an online Bible college of spiritual warfare. The history of exorcism, healing, deliverance, and spiritual warfare. The practical aspects of breaking curses, pulling down spiritual strongholds, and removing the legal rights of Satan. Set yourself, your friends, and family free by enrolling in the International School of Exorcism. In our new book, Set Your Family Free, we teach how to raise children with purity principles, how to prepare them for adulthood, and how to break every assignment of Satan over their lives. We give you the principles of spiritual warfare to fight for your family and to be victorious over the powers of darkness. This is the book that will set your family free. How do you know if your problems are the result of bad life choices or demons? My 200-page book, Dealing with Demons, has answers for questions most are afraid to ask. Can Christians be demon-possessed? How can I know what's natural and what's supernatural? Dealing with Demons will teach you how to recognize symptoms that the devil is at work in your life. Be one step closer to living in spiritual victory. The most frequent demon that I deal with is the spirit of Jezebel. This demon wants to destroy your health, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your church. 
My book, Jezebel, is your key to overcoming the most prevalent evil spirit of our age. Get your copy today. He took the curses away from me. Was he Bob Larson? Because he can help you. If your life isn't all that it should be, if relationships aren't working, if your health, your finances, or your spiritual life are unhappy, schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one encounter with me. We'll get to the root of the issues that are holding you back. We'll give you answers and a whole new direction in life. Oh, what a change, what a difference when you have an encounter with God. Take action. I look forward to seeing you soon. your support for this worldwide outreach to do what Jesus did. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.